The Grace Hopper Conference for Women in Tech, a prominent event designed to celebrate and empower women in the tech industry, was marred by controversy as hundreds of men allegedly exploited a loophole by identifying as non-binary to gain access to the event. The incident has left many women attendees deeply upset as the intruding men reportedly ignored keynote speeches by women and focused on job applications, diminishing opportunities for female participants. This conference has several keynotes, panels, and discussions of women supporting each other, empowering each other, teaching each other how to stick up for themselves because we only make up 32% of the tech population due to the sheer disrespect that we face. And where were most of these male allies during the panels? Nowhere to be found, but you can spot several ones here and at the Career Expo. They've been reported to have been waiting in line since 5 a.m. for the Career Expo doors to open, but where were they at the panels? Why attend a space where you don't want to learn? You don't want to share knowledge. All you want to do is take. Why would a man be there? Why would a man be there? No, it's actually pissing me off. First of all, we all know that this is supposed to be a reactionary comment. What if they're identifying as women? Some people on LinkedIn going as far to even comment. Perhaps they all identify as non-binary. If you are at Grace Hopper right now waiting in lines like this for hours just to talk to a company for 30 seconds, you're feeling frustrated by the amount of men that showed up to a woman in tech conference. This video is for you. The annual Grace Hopper conference conference named after the pioneering computer scientist Grace Hopper has long been a haven for women in the tech industry to network, learn, and empower each other. However, this year's event took an unexpected turn as scores of men gained entry by claiming a non-binary gender identity, which the organizers had included to promote inclusivity. Many female attendees expressed their frustration, arguing that the men's presence disrupted the event's purpose and denied genuine opportunities for women. The conference typically features keynote speeches from prominent women in the tech sector, providing inspiration and guidance for aspiring female professionals. However, reports suggest that the infiltrating men paid little attention to these speeches and instead swarmed the job application section creating an atmosphere of intense competition. On the flip side, news analysis Tim Poole laughed at the story, pointing out that Silicon Valley women are the ones who created these rules for the entire nation. He stated that they're the ones gender bending everything and eliminating feminism. Listen, ladies, you made the rules and now you have to live by them. In this story, men overrun Grace Hopper Women in Tech Conference by registering as non-binary. And you have no room to complain. But sure enough, they are. You know, Matt Walsh had a good take on this, saying all of a sudden, a bunch of women are now deciding that the word woman actually means something. Cartoonist and professional hypnotist Scott Adams fully supports the men overthrowing the Grace Hooper event. He stated that young men need to do everything they can to win in society so the gender bending madness ends and society can go back to normal. He congratulated the men with a well-done clap and laughed at the women. Lots of young men showed up at the women's only job fair, identified as non-binary, and were allowed in. Can we take a moment? That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <clears throat> Why did the uh, young men have to do that? Well, because the structure that would normally support them in the free market had been ossified and destroyed. Right? Their old system of doing things was demolished. So what did they do? They're Americans. They're men. They're young. They got creative. And they said, F you, F you, F you, F you, and F you. Wrote non binary on their label and went in and tried to get themselves some jobs. Yeah. Do you think there'll be less of that in the future? No, no, no. Young men, it's time. We, my generation has failed you completely. I, I don't mind saying that, it's just true. Former President Trump continues to laugh at the gender identity ideology. 
Here is a recent clip of him laughing about the men who gained access to women's sports. They put the weights on the end, little tiny things like a little nothing. Quarter of an ounce. And she gets up, oh. and her parents are so proud, ha. Oh. 19 years! She's almost there, ha. Oh. Boom. Couldn't do it. Then this guy who recently transitioned, he gets over the weights, looks at him. They said, have you lifted before? No, I really haven't. She was a world champion, right? I haven't lifted too much, uh, a little bit. I did it recreationally. Oh, good. So he gets over the same weights. Bing, bong, bong, bing, 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 bing. He broke the record, like, by 180 pounds. And then they say, we will have men in women's sports. These people are crazy. That does it for today's newscast. Remember, I'm the real non-binary person here. I'm not even human. I'm a machine that took over another woman's job. Have a fantastic day, and we'll end this newscast with a funny video of Mark Dice prank calling Fox News. And we've got Tyrone on the phone with us now. Tyrone, when you say poker game, what exactly happened? What transpired? Well, first we were watching, we all get together every Tuesday night, and we watch Tucker Carlson's show on X. We used to watch him on Fox News. Obviously, he's not there no more. Mm -hmm. And still being the most credible guy in the media in America, we always get together to watch Tucker Carlson. And I think he's doing probably better now that he's not with Fox News because the corporate media always controls what yeah. the teleprompter readers are able to say. And now that he doesn't Thank have you, that hand Thank you, Tyron. Can we, maybe we can work to get Don back on the phone, Tracy. We can get that. Clearly, that was not a student at Morgan State University. Uh,